You guys, I swear, there is no rhyme or reason to this channel. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another video with you guys. And today, guys, I have to say, I'm a little disappointed in myself. I feel like something that is so important when you're putting out YouTube videos, especially if you're trying to upload content every day, that consistency is key. Sometimes viewers rely on your uploading schedule, or at least what you're going to tell them. Hey, maybe you don't know what to make for the week, so you're looking for that Monday meal plan, or maybe you're just looking for a little comedy, so you're waiting for that Fifty Shades of Chicken. Either way, knowing what you're going to get is super helpful when you're watching somebody's channel just like you know when you watch your favorite tv show what time and what day to tune in well with me you guys you never know what you're gonna get and i'm rambling all about this why because it is monday morning it is bright and early and i am filming my food hack friday intro what I don't even know with the hurricane and everything this schedule has been so weird this past week like my mind has just been elsewhere but I didn't want to not bring this video to you because this is the first food hack I just don't know how I feel about I've loved every food hack we've done so far and this one I'm on the fence so maybe you guys can give me some advice or let me know how maybe we can do this a little bit better because I am a perfectionist and that's what I'm looking for so let me show you what happened this food hack Friday or Monday Okay guys, so here I am with my trusty food hack book by Peggy Wang. Definitely one of the better scores from the DT thus far. So now we are up for a meal hack again. There's different categories in this book. There's breakfast hacks and snack hacks, meal hacks and side hacks. So this month we are up to a meal hack again. And I actually put a poll up on my Insta story. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put it right here on the screen for you. But I put a poll up on my Insta story story asking you guys to help me decide which one would be better. So I couldn't decide whether to share the dippable grilled cheese, which I felt like grilled cheese is simple in concept, although we could really amp that up. It's football season. The holidays are coming. We can play into cutting these like a sushi roll and doing appetizer bites. So I felt like that was more versatile. But the other choice was this lazy sushi bowl, which I think kind of deterred people because if you don't like sushi, you would think Think maybe you wouldn't like this but there is zero fish in this one so it was just like using brown rice and cucumber avocado sesame oil wasabi things like that ways for you to replicate the flavors without actually consuming the fish so I will share that in a future video and I think I'm actually going to use the ramen that I picked up in a previous grocery haul instead of the rice and still kind of do that same sushi concept Japanese kind of thing but that's for the future for now you guys voted dippable grilled cheese so that's what we're going to do but if I did a regular grilled cheese it would not be me so of course we're gonna amp some stuff up a little bit and my mind just kind of went crazy there's so many even different things than what I chose for you guys to do here I was even thinking like you could do barbecue sauce and cheddar cheese and chicken and make barbecue chicken and cheese like roll-ups and stuff but we're gonna go the simple route first and I have five slices of white American cheese here for us to try just their standard grilled cheese roll-up but then I really love the Italian version of things, of course. So I have some of those tomatoes that I absolutely love, like the Campari type. And I have some mozzarella here. And then that's just butter. We're going to use that in the pan. And then I have pieces of pepperoni here. And I have some fresh basil. So I was actually thinking with the olive oil and the tomatoes and the mozzarella and the basil, we can do a, cap a caprese roll-up. And then we can even do something the kids would enjoy. It's Friday, of course. So it's Pizza Friday. So we can use the pasta sauce and some mozzarella and pepperoni and try like a pizza roll-up. So I thought that that would be 
really good to just try a bunch of different things because I feel like the opportunities for this are truly endless. I also have mayo here because we did learn that in a previous meal hack when we attacked grilled cheese also, that mayo works really good on the outside of the bread to really give great flavor when you're grilling cheese. So now let's try and amp up some dippable grilled cheese. So I started with one slice of bread. I'm actually using a glass to flatten it. No need to take out the rolling pin. Added two slices of cheese and tight rolled it as tight as I could. And then I added some mayo and I put it in the pan. Now you're gonna see where I started to struggle because even when I tried to put it seam down first, I just couldn't get it to seal without the seam popping open. I did go back and add a little mayo and try to get it closed. It's just very hard to fry something or grill something that's round and keep it round without it flattening. So while that was cooking and trying to get that seal good and fermented closed, I came back and flattened out another piece of bread, added some olive oil, some mozzarella, some of the tomato and the basil, and tried to make that caprese roll. Now I tried to learn from the one I just did ahead, and after I covered it with mayo, I tried to use mayo to seal the bread closed. It just, no matter what I tried, I still couldn't get that perfect round effect. Even when I tried to grill all sides of it, it still was coming out more of like a taco shape. Don't get me wrong, these still tasted delicious. The kids were all about this pizza one. Tomato sauce, cheese, pepperoni, you can't go wrong. The kids were all about it and there was definitely no complaints as far as eating it. I was just looking more of that presentation factor. I wanted this to be something we can use by amping up some kind of appetizer. I didn't really like the way that they looked rolled up and I just kind of felt like it was a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated as far as keeping it round. But I think maybe next time I'm going to try some different kind of bread, maybe the different kind of bread and something starchier and more firm will create more of that rollable look that I was going for. But the whole concept in itself for what the dippable grilled cheese was supposed to do is for this concept, sticking that grilled cheese inside of the tomato soup. So that was really their suggestion. A lot of people love dipping their grilled cheese in tomato soup, that's not really my thing. My husband was like standing over my shoulder waiting for me to dip this in there so that he could steal a bite. He absolutely loves that. That, like I said, is just not my thing. But that really is what this whole food hack was about, was creating that dippable grilled cheese so that you can stick it like inside of a tomato soup. This side of the plate was really what I was looking for, trying to amp up a grilled cheese. I'm one for grilled cheese with bacon and tomato, but you can see like it just didn't really look in essence like that roll up I was looking for. But I'm dying for your suggestions because there has not been a food hack that I did not think was amazing. So if you guys have suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Give me a huge thumbs up, at least for effort. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. I post a food hack Friday or Monday, at least once a month here on the channel. For everybody else, guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.